In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for KBr plus PbNO3 2. This is potassium bromide plus lead 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see I have a nitrate here, but here I have two nitrates. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the KNO3. Now I have two potassium atoms, only one here. Let's put a 2 there. Those are balanced. Two bromine atoms, two bromine atoms. I have a lead and then a lead. Molecular equation is balanced. Now we can write the state for each substance. Compounds with bromine, soluble, and potassium as well. So that's going to be aqueous, dissolve, and it'll dissociate into its ions. Nitrates, very soluble, AQ. We have potassium nitrate, so that's going to be soluble. And whenever I see a lead compound, I'm really cautious. So let's look this up on a solubility chart here. On the chart, we go down and find lead, and then across bromide. We go over and up. And we see this SS here. That stands for slightly soluble. A very small amount of it will dissolve. For net ionic equations, we consider slightly soluble to be the same thing as being a solid. So this is insoluble. It'll be a solid. And in fact, it'll be a precipitate. These two substances react, and then we end up with this PBBr2 falling to the bottom of the test tube. So now we have the states. We can split the strong electrolytes into ions. This is the complete ionic equation. Potassium's in group 1 on the periodic table. It's 1 plus. And we have two potassium ions. And I won't write the states now. Let's write that later. Two bromide ions. Bromine has the 1 minus there. And then for lead, we have to look at what it's bonded to since it's a transition metal. Nitrate, always 1 minus, and we have two of them, has to be 2 plus. So this is the lead 2 ion, Pb2 plus. And then we have two nitrate ions, NO3 minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have two potassium ions again, plus two nitrate ions. And for the solid, with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So this lead to bromide just phases PBBr2. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions that are on both sides of the complete ionic equation. The reactants, I see there's two potassium ions and the products, the same. Get rid of those. Two nitrates in the reactants, two nitrate ions in the products. Get rid of those. And what's left, that's our net ionic equation for KBr plus PbNO3 too. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium bromide and lead to nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two negative charges. Then we have this two positive. Cancel out, give us a neutral compound here in the product. And we have the same number of each type of atom on both sides. So mass is conserved too. Often you'll see the positive ion written first in net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter. Still the same net ionic equation. Maybe it looks a little nicer. Either way, this is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for KBr plus PBNO3 too. Thanks for watching.